Hi everyone, this is Space Toad. Um, I haven't posted in a while. I've actually been out of the uh, Minecraft business for, for quite a while. And today I wanted to talk to you about something new. Um, this is a new project. I'm not quite sure where it's going to go yet. Uh, but I feel like it's a good idea to share uh, to show you what I've been doing and uh, maybe to get some feedback on this. So, um, what you are looking at right now is um, what is called Star Spore. Not quite sure what kind of game that's going to be, uh, but uh, as for now, what's included within Star Spore is some kind of uh, ship creator interface, or at least at uh, this very stage, it's a hull creator interface. It's all very basic and it starts with this, which is what I'm calling um, hull dice. Uh, I can click on it, I can uh, look around and uh, rotate around it and basically this is going to be the basis of the hull and I'm going to use um, this environment to morph it and create something that uh, looks more like a ship or maybe a space station or whatever I want it uh, to look like. Um, that's not going to be a tutorial so I'm just going to uh, present what you can do uh, quickly and some more detailed tutorial should come later on. So anyway, in here what I'm going to do is to uh, go a little bit further so with the mouse wheel I can Make, take some distance. By the way, to rotate around, I'm using the right um, key of the mouse and then moving it around. And I'm going to click on basic hull, selecting a face on this hull. So here, for example, I'm selecting the front face. Now, as you can see, on the top left corner, I have all kind of parameters that I can modify. Uh, you can modify them directly by clicking on the buttons or entering values. Uh, in here, I'm just going to hit D on the keyboard and then dragging the face, uh, which uh, is another way of um, morphing this shape. So, uh, okay, well, let's say I'm happy with this shape here. I'm going to change the shape a little bit uh, behind, moving this uh, just by two units and then I'm going to make those shapes a bit more interesting to look like a bit more like a spaceship. Actually, let me sh change the size of the top and put um, 6 for example for the size on X and as you can see very slowly it's starting to look like something more uh, interesting. I'm going to go to Advanced Hull now and selecting this front face and creating something more spherical. So I'm hitting sphere or sphere, I guess, if you would pronounce it correctly in English. And that creates a, a, some kind of a sphere shape with dedicated parameters. Uh, R, for example, being the radius. I'm going to increase this. Um, scale X and scale Y uh, being various um, scales and various axes and just going to cancel the scale Y and increase uh, scale X. Yeah, 2.5 looks good. Um, at the bottom I'm going to create a pyramid. S would be the distance between the top of the pyramid and uh, the center of this, um, um, this piece of hull here. So I'm increasing this slightly and okay well not too bad so far um, to carry on I'm actually going to create some kind of a window in the front so for that I'm going back to basic hull um, and this time I'm going to select a small area actually let's start here in the uh, in the front and modify the distance between that part and the center of the hull so uh, minus one here, that doesn't look too bad, does it? And yeah, maybe put some holes so that it looks like um, there is some kind of a window here. And the final touch on this hull will be engines here. 
I'm not quite sure if I'm going to keep this design, but right now you can just uh, select engine and click on uh, position in the on the faces and create this kind of uh, engine gizmo. So um, okay, I'm almost happy with this. The last thing I want to do is to create some kind of uh, better looking material. Here is just uh, some kind of a blueprint uh, outlook. So for that I'm going to go on material, hit new material and here you will see uh, a list of base material that can be selected. Um, some of these are going to be more applicable to the outside of the ship, the hull. Some of these are going to be better applicable for the inside of the uh, ship, the internal structure, which I'm not going to demonstrate right now because it's a bit more complicated. Um, so let's just select um, this one, um, that white one I quite like. Uh, then I can adjust various parameters. Let's say that I don't want any pipes, uh, a lower panel density, lower black block density, sorry, and make it bluish. Yes, creates. So now I've got this material available. I can click on it and then click it on the hull. Uh, well selected. So that's about it for this uh, short introduction. Now. What's interesting is that all of this is available online. That's actually a web application. Uh, so please, by all means, go to www.starsports.com. I will put a link on the website, uh, on this video, sorry. And um, try it out. You can create up to five spaceships and store them on the server. Uh, then uh, ask your friends to um, watch them if you want to or look at them and uh, well hopefully uh, there will be some interesting creation that ca that I can get uh, inspired from and, and then move forward on the game once again this is a uh, really proof of concepts right now it's not even a work in progress that's just uh, me space dot playing around uh, seeing what I can do um, I have some idea of games uh, around the this environment and uh, hopefully I uh, will be able to um, demonstrate additional things soon uh, but for now thanks a lot for having watched the video and I hope to see you on www.starsports.com